All right, Vaughn, if you would kindly, let's hear your story. What? Uh, go ahead and just tell it. It's your, it's your story, so tell it like it is. Okay, I have a, a life-threatening condition all too common to men of my age. Right. Uh, the, the doctor's uh, tests, readings, uh, had reached uh, the level of 1,500. That's uh, almost as bad as a, a Fukushima meltdown. Yeah. In December of 2005, they mm-hmm. advised that I would be dead by the end of February of 2006 mm-hmm. and that I must start chemotherapy and radiation. Right. Uh, now, uh, due to side effects, I refused and asked for an alternative uh, treatment, uh-huh. uh, remedy, and um, they said that the only thing they uh, could uh, do uh, would send me home and put me on uh, hospice. And, uh, yeah, m- morphine and hospice, yep, that's yeah, their, al- that's their alternative. Company uh, c- comfortable. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, until I passed on. <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Now, did these people happen to mention to you that 90 to 95 percent of oncologists would refuse chemotherapy if they had cancer? They probably didn't say that, did they, Vaughn? No, they didn't. Yeah, but I knew that because I had uh, been on a committee at uh, Loma Linda. Uh, who, uh, the people who were uh, being uh, trying to sue Loma Linda for their treatments that they had received mm-hmm. that had gone haywire and so on. So I knew about the side effects uh, uh, that resulted from using those procedures. Got it. Uh, I, I rejected and uh, uh, selected Carnivera. Uh, this uh, has brought my reading from 1,500 down to 3.5, uh, with no side effects. When did you st- when did you actually begin the carnivore regimen? It was about uh, April of 2006. So you survived their February death sentence and got into oh, yeah. April and decided to give carnivora a try. All right. Now, can you right. just just for fun? And there's a point to this. How would you describe your diet? Do you eat meat and dairy products and kind of the typical American diet? Is that what you were doing back then? No. Uh, I had already uh, adjusted my uh, that uh, diet to um, one that was more compatible with uh, uh, the high blood sugar. Very good. Right. Uh, and uh, so uh, I, I was doing uh, quite well in keeping my uh, blood sugar down. Yeah, well, cancer loves sugar. Yep, and that was helping the cancer uh, grow slower, but it was still climbing uh, pretty fast. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's an astoundingly high PSA. Did the doctors say that, uh, gosh, we, we haven't seen too many this high? Is that, did they ever say things like that to you? Yeah, the... Uh, the um, fellow that uh, was going to do the radiation, the nicest one of the bunch, said, uh, I've never seen a patient that had that before. And uh, I said, well, well, there's a lot of folks that have it that I, and higher. He says, I know, but I, I just, as n- I've never seen a patient. Wow. And he was a man in his early 60s. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So you began the carnivora regimen. What was the protocol for you? Did you do the capsules? Did you do the liquid? What did you do? All of those. Mm-hmm. I, I took their full uh, uh, things and and used their uh, their recommendations as to uh, how much and when and so on. And uh, I may have taken a little more from time to time. Uh, and when I started out, um, the it had gone metastasized into my lung, 
uh, bones and uh, have gotten from my thigh into the uh, hip cage and was starting up my backbone and at the te- my tailbone mm-hmm. I had a oh about a half inch ball uh, growing there that if I sat wrong or bumped it slightly mm-hmm. it was one hell of a yeah painful experience now you got a lightning bolt right up your back you know? yeah and now uh or, or that was one of the first uh things that i could tell was being fixed uh, it fixed that and made it start to shrink uh first of all that i could sense you know openly how did, how did, when you say it fixed it, what happened? Did the actual lump begin to diminish? Did the sensitivity go away? The sensitivity went away to start with, and then it started to get smaller, and within no five months that was gone. Wow. A miracle. <laughs> A miracle of nature. Common sense. This is. Did you did you go back to your oncologist at this? Were they did they just say, well, we don't need to see any more. Good luck, Vaughn. What did well, they do? Uh, I'm a, uh, a, fight, a little fighting guy. Uh, uh, I don't weigh enough to uh, beat up on a, an ant, but um, my uh, I told him, the doctor, as I walked out of his office, that he and I would never have any conversations again henceforward. And I have stuck to that. And so I've found other people that uh, would uh, tolerate me doing this and uh, guide me through the uh, the experience that I needed, uh, you know, the extra, the help with. And um, uh, that's what I did uh, in order to mm-hmm. protect myself against uh, that kind of All right. Okay, so doctors. Right, we got rid of the. Uh, we got rid of the. T- I'm going to go right through the break network. Thank you. I'm going to keep going with Vaughn. We got rid of the sensitivity. Then the issue itself resolved. The physical issue at your tailbone. What next happened? And how did you? How did you know? Did you tell me about your overall feeling in your body? Just go through it as best you can. I'm, well, this is I, fascinating. I was, I was reaching the point uh, to where. I, uh, when I went through my leg out the side of the car to get out of the seat and stand up, uh, that, that, that my leg bone, uh, felt, uh, uh, hurt. And, uh, so that was one of the things that, uh, other things that, uh, went away, uh, at about the same time that the growth on the end of my spine went. Uh, it was up my spine, uh, to, uh, oh, maybe four inches above my hip, uh, and um, uh, so I could sense the hurt uh, there, and that uh, started to go away. Am I being responsive to your question? Very good, uh, but let's talk about your overall feeling of, of wellness. Now, were you, t- by the way, were you taking pain meds at this time? I wouldn't blame you. Uh No. Uh, because I, uh, pain tells you what, uh, the, there's a condition someplace that's causing it, and I didn't want to mask it over and uh, run into uh, thinking that I was all right, and I wasn't just because I was taking pain medicine. Okay. So I bared the pain medicine. Well, you're, you're tougher than I am. 